Okay, here's here's a fun one. Uh, I'm calling this the thimble motor. And the reason being is it looks about like the same shape as one of my wife's uh, sewing thimbles. And uh, there's Maggie. I wanted to show people that uh, these little window motors have a lot of torque. And uh, somebody asked me if it ran Maggie, and it runs Maggie great. And it's just a little tiny thing. And uh, all this is is a little tiny, tiny plastic lid off of one of my wife's perfume bottles. And a little neodymium magnet, uh, ring magnet inside there with a couple of coils. Um, one's a trigger, one's a power coil. So it only fires on half the cycle, I think. And the circuit's just that jewel thief circuit. But it's got this uh, uh, sec exciter um, phenomena, which uh, I worked a lot with today just to see more about it. And uh, it's this uh, sec exciter thing on this little tiny motor that I found real interesting. that uh, I don't know why you would get this on this uh, type of circuit because I hooked the scope up to it and uh, this is running way way below the frequency that a regular exciter would run at um, in the kilohertz range not in the megahertz range so I don't know uh, why that that is but anyway I got the thing so it runs in milliamps now it runs down there about uh, there goes the battery. I had it on one and a half volt battery. Now it's just on a capacitor there. And you can see it's running along. And it runs, uh, this little tiny thing will run down there about uh, 10 to 20 milliamps at about uh, a volt. All the way down to half a volt it'll still run. And uh, pretty impressive for a little tiny window motor running on a jewel thief circuit. This is the same circuit I showed last night. but. Um, the little neon here, I'm going to show this, I'm going to plug this in. And there's the, the neon, I'm stopping the motor now. And this neon uh, runs just like a regular jewel thief. And it'll run, like I say, way down there about half a volt, just like a normal jewel thief. On those little coils with no toroid, it's just got the neodymium magnet in the middle. And I don't even think you need that. But that's a uh, hundred turns each of 30 gauge wire to make that little thing work. So um, I thought I would just show this tonight that uh, this little uh, window motor kind of idea uh, works real good on these jewel thief circuits. If you get get lucky, <laughs> you get one to work. I don't know if you can see that spinning around or not, but it's not doesn't make much noise either. But it's just a diametrically magnetized neodymium magnet with coils of wire. Uh, one goes one direction, one goes the other direction, and um, makes a little window motor. Anyway, that's the show for tonight. That's the little thimble, thimble motor. And the last thing I wanted to show was. Uh, was Phyllis and Phyllis is the philodendron uh, plant battery and she's uh, well over a month old and uh, absolutely in perfect health I did not kill the plant with the copper and the magnesium in there and it's still still running runs great it, uh, it has an automatic feature that um, during the daylight it turns itself off and at night it's on and that's worked out really good I just got to figure out some kind of a box to put that in but I pulled the magnesium out today and washed it off in the sink and scrubbed it down a little bit and it's really not going away like the ribbon did and so I think that is the answer for one of these uh, single plant uh, plant batteries is uh, a big chunk of copper and a big chunk of magnesium and then get an efficient circuit and uh, automatic on off and away you go. Anyway, that's the show for tonight. Thanks for watching.